Kitty, it's feeding time. Did you go in? Gideon, what are you doing? It is time to feed these little babies. She's been lazy lately. Alright, let's put them in. <laughs> Gideon! I know that's Mama's name. About to take my husband to work. Thought I'd show you guys a little update on these giant babies. They're eating on their own and their ears are flopping down. Most of them are underneath this cage. They're so cute. And then the plants. I just moved my tomato sprouts up here. We've got a few different varieties. These are daisies, zinnias, a few other stuffs. That is oregano. And then that's the tobacco. It's looking really good. What's this? Oh, that's my rosemary. Doing pretty well. And everything else is the same. These are usually in the cold breeze. So they've been staying really small and compact. I'm pretty happy with that. I just got that from Goodwill. I just put my first plants inside of the greenhouse. It's pretty, oh, the clouds, or the sun's coming out a little bit. Um, but it's been pretty overcast and cloudy. My birds are singing to me. So I decided, you know, today's a safe day. It's not super warm, but the greenhouse is warm enough to have them in there. But it's not too warm because it, it'll get up to like 120 degrees in there. So we'll see. And uh, the, I hate to say this, but the babies in the room still actually just ate a whole tray of purple kale or scarlet kale. So not super excited about that, but I think I have two more, two purple kale or scarlet kales in here, but it's mostly just curly kale and cabbage. <clears throat> what are you guys doing? Y'all are crazy. That pile of wood there is my, um, what is it called? Raised bed wood. This is the only raised bed we're going to have this year. Because it's just too late in the year to uh, be building them and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to get more more uh, manure and fill in all this sandy looking stuff fill all that in and then 
just use this area as the in-ground garden. We don't have a for sure plan, but something's going to happen. Something will be grown. If anything, it's going to be our fruit here. This is strawberry. Uh, that is raspberry. And then this is our little blackberry patch. First time this year doing this, so we shall see what is going on in there. And those are going to be more berry patches, probably raspberry and strawberry, but it's been cold and gross. That bike is there because I was going to uh, put the wheels on uh, the barn over there, but I, I couldn't figure it out. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh, bird? You can't come in. You cannot come in. You are not welcome in the garden. I love this little cane lock. Ugh, excuse me. You're not welcome either. Alright, just wanted to show you the, the greenhouse. Oh, look at this. This is so exciting. It's a dandelion! I'm so excited! That's so fun. And then over here, it looks like icy, iciness. But when you get closer, there are tiny little weeds. Which is perfectly fine for me because look, there's some grass popping through as well. So that's awesome. Are you going to eat these weeds? I'd really like you to. It'd be very helpful. Nope. I just pulled 12 eggs out of the uh, the nest just now. Someone broke one. And uh, I guess they ate it all. But they got kicked out. Yeah, there's no bedding in there because someone messed up the bedding. Here. She's whining at me. There you go. We'll steal from this bed. You want to go in now? You're so picky. Just go in. Our door is actually kind of warping with all this rain. I don't know what to do about that, but it's going to get stuck now. You know, like Trish says in Willow Creek Homestead, we just do the dang best we can. This is spring in Colorado Springs. No, that's not snow. It's hail. April is hail season here. All those plants that I had inside of the grow house or the uh, greenhouse are still in there. It's not super cold out right now, but it's definitely coming down.